Hi everyone, have a good day ahead. It's me, Jerry Russell Bowley Dagger, and for today's vlog, I am going to discuss to you a certain issue that is somehow happening for some students, most especially that we are in the technological age right now. So I am going to tackle about sleep deprivation for students, and I believe that there are a lot of causes why students are deprived with sleep but before anything else I just want to highlight the point or the meaning of what is sleep deprivation so I believe that sleep deprivation is a sleeping disorder of which a person or a student himself has an inadequate quality and quantity of sleep and that may cause a problem to his or her health there are actually lots of causes why students are practicing poor sleeping habits. One of that may be that student is suffering from depression or anxiety. And second of that is maybe they are doing some school-related works that was given by the teacher. Loads of school works that um, cause them to do in the night time. Third, it's because of the overusage of technology. Um, through the advent of technology that we are in right now, um, there are online games, social media accounts that students will have the right to access. That's why um, most of the students are having or having a poor sleeping habits or. So at this juncture, I am going to discuss to you the possible effects of this issue for students. So the consequences of sleep deprivation or daytime sleepiness are specifically problematic to college students and can result in lower grade point average, increased risk of academic failure, compromised learning, impaired mood, and increased risk of motor vehicular accidents. So sleep deprivation increases the likelihood teens will suffer myriad negative consequences including an inability to concentrate, poor grades, drowsy driving, incidents, anxiety, depression, thoughts of suicide or even suicide attempts. So having poor sleeping habits is not easy because having this sleeping disorder may cause to have you unwanted diseases such as high blood, diabetes, obesity, and etc. So at this point, I just want to have a solution to this issue. So I believe that sleeping problems may eventually go away once treatment is obtained for the underlying cause. When sleep disorders aren't caused by another condition, treatment normally involves a combination of medical treatments and lifestyle changes. So as a student ourselves, it is our responsibility to change our lifestyle, to lessen the practices that cause us to be deprived with sleep because that will somehow affect not just with our health, but also with our emotional state. So as a student, first thing that we must do is to keep a consistent sleep schedule because having a consistent sleep schedule, we can eradicate this issue and lessen this issue. Second is set a bedtime that is early enough for you to get at least seven hours of sleep. So it is a student ourselves, it is our responsibility to manage our time well. We are going to set the time that we can get 7 to 10 hours of sleep and that sleeping hours is normal for us. So before I end my educational vlog, I just want to share a thing that will somehow help you eradicate and lessen the issue and that is having time management. Having time management is really important because with this, 
we can able to manage our time we can able to handle what task are we going to do in a right time and in a right way and with that by achieving those things we can able to achieve and maintain a healthy and a balanced life and that is what we need to have thinking